guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i got this cute summer protective hairstyle i used a different line today trying out some new products from how do you even pronounce this i'm beau i'm beau yeah so i just used a whole line shampoo deep conditioner leave-in conditioner curl defining cream and a oil as well so if you're interested to see how i achieve the style just keep watching Alright guys, so I'm starting by completely saturating my hair first and then I'm taking the I'm Beau Curl Liberating Sulfate Free Shampoo and I'm doing two washes as usual but I'm going to focus on the roots first. So I apply the shampoo all over my scalp and then I'm taking my scalp massager to gently loosen up any product build up or any dry scalp and then I rinse my hair out and apply the shampoo again but this time I'm raking the shampoo through the ends of my hair just to gently cleanse the rest of my hair without being too harsh and then once I'm done with that I rinse my hair out thoroughly so this shampoo cleansed my hair very well and it didn't leave it feeling stripped at all so that's really all I can ask for with the shampoo so I do recommend this shampoo I'll leave the ingredients list in the corner so that you can see for yourself what's inside this product <laughs> so next I'm taking the I'm Beau curl restoring intensive mask and I'm applying it to my hair in two sections um, just because my hair is a bit thinner now so it's easier to manage and then I'm raking my hands through my hair just to finger to tangle a little bit before I go in with the brush and the brush I'm using is a tangle teaser it's the same brush I've been using for about a year the deep conditioner was quite nourishing it provided a lot of slips so I was able to detangle my hair quite easily it is a protein conditioner so if you're not looking for protein this week don't use it my hair does love protein so i can probably get away with using more protein than others but you don't want to get protein overload because that would literally mess up your hair so be mindful of that i left that mask on for about 10 minutes while i showered and then i took it down washed it out and then put my hair back into it so it doesn't get tangled again okay so it's quite a hot day today so i've got the fan on so if you do hear like a little humming in the background that's my fan and also if you think i'm talking funny or it looks like i've got filler done it's not i've got braces just the top row it's affecting my speech a little bit and it's pushing out my lip and it feels really uncomfortable this is only day three so yeah still very new let's continue on with this hair so i'm gonna section it off yeah and then i'm gonna re-wet each section before i put in the leave-in conditioner so yeah, my hair feels really clean. It feels squeaky clean, but it doesn't feel stripped. If you know what I mean, it feels pretty soft still. You see my mic? How? Why? I don't know if you can hear that. Squeaky clean, but it doesn't feel stripped. So next I'm gonna add in this leave-in conditioner. Really big size. It's got like a conditioner consistency. It's not a thick product. That feels really good in the hair. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I feel like my hair might need it. It's not the most defining product, but we do have the gel to go on top. So I'm not really looking for the finishing with my leave-in conditioners anyway, but I do like a thick product. So the next thing I'm gonna put in is this curl worshiping oil. That's what it looks like. And I did you realize that the products are matching my nails? Like, nails yeah so i'm just gonna pump a few pumps of this Ooh. whoa Ooh. yeah so the oil is quite runny so it's not thick oil and it's got a light fragrance as well i can't really put my finger on what i can smell maybe coconut i'll have to see what else is in the oil that feels pretty good in the hair as well and lastly i'm going to put in this curl empowering cream gel it's like a cream a cream and a gel i guess <laughs> i don't really have high hopes for it uh, i really don't know what's happening it's got like bits it's got bits it's online uh oh look it's got bits in the hair as well was i not supposed to use them together Hmm. Yeah, look, it's curdling. With its own line, it's curdling. So, I mean, should we use them together? Should we not use them together? Like, that's really bad. So don't use these two products together, I'm suggesting. Hey, yeah, look. Rubbed it in. And it's giving off clumps. 
Mm, um, it's not doing much for definition either. What am I gonna do? I can't do a wash and go. So, um, so for this section, I'm just going to apply the oil and then the leave-in conditioner. I'm not really just a leave-in conditioner kind of girl. I need something to style my hair, but else my hair is going to be frizzy, and I can't use gel with the leave-in conditioner together. So it looks like I'm going to have to do protective style because. These products are not holding my hair. They're not going to do anything for hold. With just the, the oil and the leave-in conditioner. <sighs> um, I don't know what to do. Because they definitely don't work well together. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to use it because I know that leave-in conditioner is not going to do anything. I'm really interested now to see if the leave-in conditioner is going to work on its own. I'm not interested. I'm not. <laughs> it's flaking and there's nothing I can do. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. So for now, I'm just going to twist this up so it doesn't lose its moisture until I decide what I'm going to do. I didn't want to do a style today. I wanted to just do a wash and go. You know, a quick video. I don't know, man. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I just applied the leave-in conditioner and the oil on this side. And I've been forced to do a protective style. So I'm just going to take the hair down. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh. But yeah guys, I was so annoyed at this point that I had to do a protective style. I just wanted to just get the video done, do a wash and go and literally get on with my day. But what I decided to do was like a zigzag part in the middle with cane rows going backwards. Just a nice and cute protective style. So I'm just parting off my hair to do that. I had about six sections. I just took my time parting my hair not trying to snag it at all and then once I section off each section I put it back in a twist so that it doesn't get tangled up again and this part literally took the longest time I hate parting my hair is dry as f I'm not a fan of these products I'm not this side feels crispy dry like okay so I've got one two three four five six sections and I'm gonna just, just tie this side off so let's not get in my way and these two as well. I'm just gonna start off with this section. This side feels a lot better, but there's flakes in it, so I'm probably gonna have to rewash my hair at some point this week. This section was a little bit too big, so I just decided to do a little adjacent twist next to it. And with this section, I'm just gonna do a small cane row, and then I'm gonna link it to this one. So I'm just adding some more of that cream gel just smooth it down and I'm taking it down actually because it's it needs some moisture okay and then I'm just gonna cane roll I don't even feel like cane rolling I'm gonna flat twist it I'm just gonna use a silver clip to clamp it in place here so it doesn't unravel and then I'm gonna add some more product to this section more so the perimeter of the section I'm just gonna add some water Make it more manageable. And then I'm just gonna twist, flat twist this section as well. I'll make a more detailed tutorial on how to flat twist, but it's really easy to do and it makes a beautiful twist out when it's taken down. So essentially you're just taking hair row by row and twisting. And I much prefer to do these over corner rows because it's so effortless. I'm just gonna take this clip out and grab that section and add it so they do get messy more quickly than cane rows but i will suggest to use a product with more hold anyway add some more water just drying out and just twist all the way down to the ends and i'm going to add that silver clip back to the roots so it doesn't unravel too much just like so this side we spray it add some of this hair gel to the perimeter dry as hell i'm sorry it was dry as hell so out of this line so far i'll just keep the shampoo and deep conditioner and when i try a whole product line and i only like the shampoo and conditioner 
you know it's an issue because you can use anything to clean your hair. You can. As long as it's not stripping, a lot of the shampoos will work in your hair. And with deep conditioners, they can either be moisturising or replenishing. So you can't really go wrong with a deep conditioner. If you need a protein deep conditioner, then you have to specifically look for a deep conditioner. But most deep conditioners are moisturising. So yeah, I, did, I liked the deep conditioner and the shampoo wasn't too stripping and my hair felt really clean, you know, ready for a great application of styling products. And these styling products, they're not cutting it at all. <laughs> it's dry. I think you can see that, right? That's just freshly washed. It's got oil and leave-in conditioner and it's dry. So I probably will co-wash it midweek because my hair's, I can't leave my hair feeling dry. The air is dry because it's a summer's day and I've got the fan on as well. So my hair will dry quickly with it being high porosity anyway as well, but not dry like, like it's not been washed for a week. That's how dry it feels. So I prefer the way my hair feels with both products in the gel and the leave-in conditioner but with just the leave-in conditioner it just feels way too drying. Continue, continue, continue. <laughs> okay so that's all done and now I'm just gonna not wear it down like this but just gather them at the back. Add a hairband, like so. Let me just fix my baby hairs a little bit. Oh God. Very pretty packaging, but yeah. I'm gonna have a look at the ingredients as well. Okay, so from the first glance, I see a few that I'm just like, really though. Like sodium hydroxide. Like what is <sighs> so sodium hydroxide? This also has sodium hydroxide and tetrasodium EDTA. Both have those in it. Oh, this is an oil, and it has so many things in it. So it's not directly just an oil. It's an oil, and then some. So it's a formulated oil, not just oils which sometimes can be good but I've got to double check the ingredients to see if they're actually okay. We have some ingredients I've never even seen before. Take this down and that's what the hair's looking like. So you can leave the twists hanging down like this or you could actually wrap them up into a bun like so for a more cleaner look. Nice little summer protective hairstyle if you don't want to have your hair out or down off your shoulders. Obviously use whatever products that work well for you. Pretty cute if I do say so myself. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more hair content for myself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.